Today's lecturer is docent Kim Uriela. Kim works with Molecular Environmental Microbiology Group in Helsinki University. Kim's research focuses on environmental microbiology and microbial ecology. Hello and uh, welcome Kim and uh, today we're going to talk about bioeconomy and uh, what is bioeconomy and why are we talking about it? Well, bioeconomy is, is actually now um, an activity in the society where uh, people have been aware that we have a lot of wastes and that we have to actually recycle wastes and from wastes we can then produce uh, actually energy and uh, and then it's uh, it's it's also could be very profitable to 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 reuse this waste and and produce energy so uh, can you uh, in more detail tell us what's the link between sustainability and uh, bioeconomy okay uh, yes so uh, in this case it's that uh, um, the the material that is used or the wastes that are used for producing bioenergy. So it should be um, uh, something that is sustainably produced. So we should not get dependent on that kind of waste that is produced in an uh, environmental hostile way. Okay. And uh, So we, n we need like clothes, we, we, we don't want to buy clothes that are made of uh, from uh, with children uh, labor. So at the same time, we don't want to use waste that is done somehow in a in a in a, in a strange manner. Can you tell me uh, what is good with biofuels? So uh, the good thing with biofuels is that. Uh, it also makes it possible to locally produce uh, energy and locally there might be uh, a farm for instance farming and there is a lot of waste agriculture waste coming from farming or yeah diff it, farming can be also in very large scale so there might be a lot of waste produced and then it would be very prof or good to use that waste locally not to start transporting it somewhere or 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 like that but take advantage of it or even make get some money out of that locally but then you need locally to to arrange the things uh, the how, how, who is taking what from where and how it's transported and and all those things uh, so, do you think that uh, bioeconomy can be a solution for energy production? So, bioeconomy is is definitely a, a very good uh, possibility uh, for for energy production. But it it is then also a, a possibility for for local business to to do something that's uh, maybe also includes new technology and and uh, that could be a, a new form even for a business. Uh, you already mentioned that uh, it's good to do things uh, locally, so can you tell us some something why is uh, local energy production better than centralized well, energy production? Well, maybe the, the main thing is that uh, if we then have another term like circular, ec circular economy, which really means that you are using, you, you everything you the, all the material you use so you use it till the end and that what you can't use you 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 try to put in some other use and uh, locally there might be different um, actors who are producing different kinds of materials and and they can then benefit from each other and and uh, create a system where they really efficiently use the material they they need for their production processes. Okay, can you give us some uh, specific example? What are the benefits of local energy production? Okay, so um, I already mentioned uh, the, the the farm waste, but uh, also it could be a, maybe a, a large industry that is producing 
like we, we have the paper and pulp industry and, and they are producing pulp but also from their waste products some small company could could find could use that material and maybe even extract some more valuable compounds so it's not only a question of of uh, producing energy but it's also that at the same time you can try to find or extract valuable compounds from this waste okay so um, how do microorganisms and biotechnology te fit into energy production so uh, in bioeconomy it's it's very much a question about like in Finland, it's, it's the use of, of forests for, for different kind of use and forest products. And in forests, it's like uh, waste wood or branches, small trees or, or, or things like that, that, that you can uh, take use of. S so uh, what, what was your last question now? Uh, how do the... Uh biotechnology fit into energy. Yeah, so, okay, so once you have this material, it could be from the forest, but it could be as well from, from the, the, the farms. So then you can break it down using microbes, because microbes, in this case, this is organic material, if you know, if you take from the, the forest, you take branches, or, or if you take straw from, 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 the, from the fields, so that's biological material and that the microbes can break down. And then when they break down, they, uh, there are so-called metabolic, different kind of metabolic products. And later I will tell what you can do when the microbes produce gases. Okay, thank you. And next, let's go to the lecture. Okay, thank you.